we'll learn now in this video how to deploy a uh, solidity smart contracts using using hard hat on the auto smart contracts protocol so let's get started First of all, um, if, you, if you're not aware, Hardhat is a development environment uh, that, that you can use, a framework that you can use to write and uh, execute uh, solidity smart contracts. Um, once, uh, once deployed, uh, there on you can connect it using your, you connect your, your DAP uh, using Web3 libraries or Ethers, uh, or Ethers JS libraries and so on. You can find more information about that in this section in the in the wiki in the tooling section you will find how to and then how to connect uh, your dap using the other uh, libraries if you have suggestions for more libraries feel free to uh, comment on the discord and uh, or or open an issue on the uh, github repository uh, so that we can take a look at it and if you feel that that needs to be covered we can try to uh, look into it uh, coming back to Hardhat, uh, it's uh, one of the most uh, preferred development uh, development environments for Solidity developers, and uh, you can you can install it by just running npm install save save to Hardhat. This is of course after you have created sort of a folder uh, of uh, in in your in your local repository already, and uh, once you have uh, once you have done that, you can just run it using npx Hardhat. Um, it requires a certain node version. I think it's uh, I think it's uh, fourteen or above. So make sure that you have the latest node version. The node version that I'm going with right now is uh, fourteen point uh, one seven three, uh, but I think it should work on uh, the latest ones as well. Uh, for that, uh, obviously, you need a running JSON RPC endpoint to interface it with so and and also our wasp node so we'll have our wasp node already running and uh, what we'll do is also run our um, evm chain and our json rpc so once once that is running you can go back and i have here a empty directory in which we will try to um, run hard at and uh, just just run npx hard at and it will just ask you for um, you know options there are various options that how it provides out of the box like create a basic sample project or advanced sample project and advanced sample project uses typescript if you're a front-end developer that might interest you more um create an empty hard at dot uh, config.js file so if you're a more advanced user you know what you're doing then absolutely go for this and then you can you can create your own architecture and everything uh, uh, according to what you want uh, for, for this example we'll just go with a basic sample project and it's just asking us to uh, just create uh, what in which directory to create and all that. And uh, if we would want to install all the recommended dependencies, and at this point, obviously we want to. So I've just I've just uh, selected yes, and it's just going on to install all of the dependencies that we require. Um, so let's just wait a couple of minutes, and uh, while we wait, we can just take a look more in depth. There's a lot of uh there's a lot of advanced tutorials around hardhat as well in this uh, in the in the official hardhat documentation so make sure that you have that that you can take a look at all of this um going back i guess still installing so we can uh, take a look more um there's various tasks that hardhat offers uh we will we will take a look into this and uh, it can be you know even more complicated and if you are uh, uh, more accustomed to something like truffle that's also that's also completely fine you can you can run using truffle as well uh, this is just an alternative for you just give it a couple of seconds um, all right so we have our uh, repository uh, ready just open it in an editor so we can uh, take a deep look into what exactly did we installed. All right, so we have uh, what we have here is one contract that is called a greeter dot solidity contract. Uh, it has one constructor which takes a greeting as the uh, initial value. So while deploying, we'll have to provide that. And uh, there's a function greet which is a view, and there's a function set greeting. So we can set a greeting and we can fetch what greeting we have set. Um, it comes with a sample script, uh, which you will be using to deploy. 
and uh, it comes so if you look at the, de the deploy script it goes with like it, it, it deploys it with the uh, with the value which was in our constructor and once it's deployed it just awaits um, till it's deployed and then it will generate the address so whatever address it was deployed to it will generate that so we can uh, so we can later interact with it using that address and uh, that's it that's it. that's how a sample script does um, in the package or JSON, you'll find all the dependencies that has been installed here and uh, on your config file this is the main file that we'll be uh, going through right now and right now you will see that there's only one uh, config uh, mentioned which is already compiler version uh, 0.8.4 um, which should obviously you know match to your contract that we will be deploying so uh, here we have uh, the contract so any compiler which is eight and above should be able to run this smart contract so we'll need a suitable compiler over here as well. There are other configurations that we need to uh, that we need to look into. They, they have given provided a link over here. So let's just look into what exactly is in there. Uh, the, the various configurations that is available, right? So the available configurations, there's networks. Uh, we can define default network. Uh, in this case, Rinkabai. Rinkabai is uh, Ethereum testnet. Uh, different, we can define different networks. So say there's a hardware, you can name it whatever you want. Uh, just that this default network name should uh, match this one and when we are uh, deploying a smart contract it should match uh, we can specify which network we are deploying to uh, in the solidity we can we can specify the version um, if 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 there's more configurations in, in inside solidity you want to do, you want to configure then you have to specify the version separately if not uh, even if you just specify solidity then this is the default version that will go through uh, in the set you can specify more configurations of solidity inside settings basically if you want to optimize it and so on you have to check on those aspects uh moga is the test suite that that, that uh had that right now uses there's a test example right now mocha and chai if you are aware of a little bit of uh, node.js testing environments and certain parts are specified uh we don't need to specify this is optional if you have let's say your own uh uh, so if you have your own architecture, you don't have a contracts directory, you have some other sort of directories, so you can specify each of these inside here. So you can, uh, and, and hard hat will uh, run it accordingly, right? So once it is deployed, let's just, uh, so once we have set up, let's just run this again, it will provide us with the necessary options. The same thing will come up if we run sort of, you know, help or something. Um, so the same help task will just generate and we can we can uh, configure it we can uh, show we can configure various uh, uh, options or parameters that is available in here there are certain tasks which we can also uh, do using hard ad uh, say we want to check on the accounts that is generated and is controlled by the hard ad so it, it has generated sort of like a 10 10 or some uh, number of accounts which is uh, which is right here and uh, we can do other Stuff like you know compile and uh, so on so we can just run compile and it, will, it should compile this this particular uh th this particular code base uh what it's actually doing is it will also download the uh the this this compiler version of the solidity compiler version if it doesn't exist already but if it exists it will just go through and uh, you will see that all, uh, all of this will be will have generated and we can now deploy this um, to make it simpler we have an existing smart contract let's uh, try to deploy this um, so this is an existing smart contract this is an nft smart contract right right now what we have um, let's take a look at the smart contract itself it's called art token it's an erc721 smart contract and uh, we can there's 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 quite a few functions mentioned here and we'll be deploying this the deploy script is inside here so we, we can uh so you can see it's a similar to the one that had it already generated uh you know it's deploying and then it's awaiting to be deployed and then it will generate the address and show us where it's where it's currently deployed and let's look at, look at the hard config file and here it's uh it's it's also uh reading the accounts from the private key which is private key is in our json file in which i have mentioned my seed 
So you can also you can also mention your seed inside a JSON file or more recommended way is to go with an environment variable and define it inside .env or read it from the system environment variables which you can configure up to your servers and so on. Uh, in this example, it's going with 0.7.6 salt version. So we have to make sure that our, our uh, smart contract also supports the same. Uh, the latest security measure says that you have to that you should use uh, 0.8 and uh, 0.8 and above so make sure that you've done that um, the current default network is local that i'm using because we have our uh, json rpc server running here uh, so we will so we'll have to specify the same thing and uh, once you have done all of that all you have to do is run the deploy script and uh, once we do that what it will do is uh, it will generate the abi the, and uh, the bytecode of the entire smart contract that we'll have here and uh, with it it will have it will, it's right now deploying to our um to our local uh, testnet and you can see that this there's a lot of these uh logs which is coming up and our contract is now deployed to this particular address now we can interact with our smart contract using this address and uh, from your client applications like web3.js or uh, ethers.js and so on um, that's all you can feel free to play around with the uh, hard add smart contracts and uh, hope to and hope that you can uh, deploy develop more uh, solidity based smart contracts yes have a good day